Okay, if you just self-cleaned your GE stove oven um, and you can't get the latch, the lock to undo, what you want to do is, is you want to make sure it does a full cleaning. So what you're going to do is, is you know, cleaning is anywhere from a half, well, an hour to a half to three hours. So after that, you're going to have to let it cool down for like a couple of hours. So it will prevent you from actually opening it until it completely comes to a full, you know, room temperature. So once it's, as you can see there, it's locked. So what you're going to do, now all of a sudden I realize it opens. And that's because I let it cool down for two hours. Now for whatever reason, if that does not work on the majority of the GE stove ranges, what you're going to do is you want to hold down the cancel button for about three to five seconds. You just hold it down. And then that might release your button if you've already done the full cooling. Now if that doesn't work, uh, what you want to do is go to your sh your uh, circuit board in your home and what you want to do is cut it off the, the area where your oven is and cut it off for about four to five minutes and then turn it back on and then see if that will reactivate it to where you can um, open your lock. And then the um, uh, last uh, thing that you would need to do if that doesn't work is go ahead and do a quick uh, self cleaning again and so what you want to want to do is of course do a self cleaning and then on a lot of these ranges you have the ability to do a short like a 30 minutes to an hour cleaning and then see if that works if for whatever reason you try those three things then you'll probably need to get it serviced but again a lot of times people will just not let it cool down long enough and they'll wonder why this doesn't turn and it's because it's a safety mechanism to uh, protect you from opening it till it fully cools down. Alrighty, thank you for watching.